Welcome back to Berlin and today we're back in the Gala Kitchen and we are doing, uh, we're challenging the local delivery system. We've seen this on uh, Bon Appetit and they're like, you make something before the delivery people can get there. This is totally unfair because if you have everything ready, it should be easy to make pizza in the kitchen yourself. But we're going to give it a try. So stick with us and uh, we'll see what happens. So now the process begins. We have to order the pizza. And then when we order the pizza, I have to go and make it. And we are going to see if I can make it before it comes again. Not fair. I've really kind of prepared My oven is hot. I've got my dough together and I've got everything going on. And then we're going to test them afterwards. So we're going to Vadoli. And um, I think the producer, now this is, this is actually one of the better ones. It's, it's one of the better ones, but it is not Salami Social Club, which is the best pizza in this city. And we're gonna go for the vegetarian. Okay, so like, this is not like television. It's not like, like people with big budgets, but okay, we finally, it was difficult and we ordered it. And Christina is like, now it's honest to God gonna like put in and what time is it right now, exactly? Um, eight minutes to nine. It's eight minutes to nine. I'm going to run in there, and I was being cocky before, I think, a little bit. So, I, I like, cause I, anyway, we'll talk about more about that in a second. But, okay. And what time is it now? <laughs> it's 8.29. <laughs> it's eight minutes to nine. Eight minutes to nine. Okay, good. Eight minutes to nine. Click the button. And we'll see if I can get it done before. Can I check first if oh, please. they really go good? I, I, oh my I, God. I give you the go. Okay, we're back from Chicky and Beats. No, we're not at Chicky and Beats, but we are under, under the clock a little bit. This is the big challenge. Again, I, I'm feeling I'm feeling cocky. I think we can do this, but only because like pizza is something that you, you start a little, like a long, I started this yesterday. I'm doing I actually a little tribute uh, today to Mark Iacona, and I be only because I think sometimes uh, I made pizzas before, and my brother, who worked at my brother, literally who worked at a Domino's, said, "What are you using a rolling pin for?" And it's like because it made it easier. And there's like uh, Lucali's. Check it out on uh, YouTube. He uses a wine bottle, and I think this is, I thought it was like one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And it, and it dismisses the myth about, like, if you, you, you gotta roll it out by hand, or you gotta do it by hand, and you can do it by hand, and like, you know, it's all possible. Fortunately, my dough is like living up to, okay, good standards today. And that's just a home bill, and it is. That's a sourdough. A sourdough starter, uh, inspired by my friends at Salami Social Club, and we love them. We're trying to get this pizza done before. I mean, how nice is that? I mean, really. I think I got lucky tonight. Sometimes. It's some days are better than others. In the thin, but not too thin. Because I hate the really thin, like, uh, tortilla version. This is, um, made before. This doesn't look real, actually. It doesn't look too bad, very good right now, actually. It was a little, like, this was a frozen version. I made this, hmm, about a couple weeks ago. But I think it's still gonna have, hold up pretty good under the circumstances. This is a, the, the um, Turkish version of this cheese is really good. And I'm using this as a substitute for the uh, mozzarella uh, that I would usually use the dry mozzarella in America. And like less is more often. So we have little. And we have a little mutt. Mm -hmm. 
So we're going to go with a very simple version of this to start with. We're going to come back and do another one. Uh, film it, maybe film it, maybe not film it. Uh, you pushing, you want, <laughs> you don't want, we're looking at the margarita. Okay, we, <laughs> the camera person is going like, no, put that on. Okay, so here we go. This is, these are just like the roasted peppers. Like, yeah, put that stuff on. Like, so much for the theory of less is more. So we're going to put that on. That's great. Okay. And then we're going to go with, this is, um, actually, this is special. This comes from the sausage man never sleeps. And this sausage I cooked earlier, okay, to put on here. And this is a chili mango. And I'm just going to, this is, this, this is Christine's pizza, obviously. Okay. So this is going to be all... Christina, and we're gonna see if this is any better than the wonderful pizza that we're getting from Vadoli. And uh, I'm getting, again, I'm getting cocky because we have to do this before they get here for this challenge. So we will see what happens. So we've got the oven, it's been preheated. This is uh, our cave, this is caveman science, basically. And we are gonna put this this is my peel, so to speak. And we're going to dive in. And the baking paper, back papier, is like boom. So we're going to, little break. We're going to wait to see how long the delivery person takes. I think there's stuff on my phone. I'm not sure if they're coming or if they're out front. I'm not talking about to beat them or not, but um, it's exciting. <laughs> We'll see what happens. Give us a minute. We'll be right back with the conclusion to this challenge. Uh, we just threw the pizza in the oven and we got like, you know, if you heard those ding, ding, dings in the background, Christina, could you translate? Please. So, deine Bestellung bei Vaduli Pizza wird in etwa 59 Minuten geliefert. 59 means 50 Freaking, you know what? This is a very good excuse. This is a really good excuse for making your own freaking pizza because the world in the pandemic land sucks. You could make a starter and you could make like really good freaking pizza, we hope. So we got it like some notification back from the delivery system. <laughs> How long is it going to take? Um. <laughs> If we have yeah. luck, it's about like 35 minutes, probably now 20 again. Okay, so... If not, uh, I think we're already I think, way I think ahead, it's an hour. to be honest. An hour. Like, this is like, this is not even a fair uh, thing. However... Oh no, where's my thing? Yeah, I, my pizza feel. I'm, okay, and we're gonna... Just saying, I think you could wrap your arms around that. And uh, I have had so many friends tell me, you can't make really good pizza at home. It's not like the pizzeria. <laughs> All right, I, we beat them. They're not here. It was like, I, I beat the time and I wasn't really, actually I was worried about that for a little while. Um, but, we have to do the reveal. I got two done. There's one in the other room. There's one here. Uh, I think we took a picture of the other one. I think lovely and crispy. Um, it's kind of between, somewhere between Neapolitan. It, it's a sourdough type or dough for it. But we're going to go for the reveal for Sam. You know this. We were there. This is like one of my favorites, not too far from here. And they do a very, 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 very nice Neapolitan looking pizza. So we're going to taste. We're going to like, even though it took a little while to get here. It, it, this is so, the, the concepts are so different, really, seriously. Um, get the up close and personal. 
very, very nice and fluffy. This is like a very good uh, advertisement for for this place. They've got this really super oven there. Uh, and it's, it's a place really definitely worth visiting. Really, really good. Your sauce is plain, very simple. And it's just the same thing that I go for in the sauce that I make. Um, and homemade. But this is, it's really, really good. So we're gonna go to the other side. And this is when people they tell me, you can't make a good pizza at home. I disagree. Absolutely. Personally. Yeah, it's a little different. And it's not the same style, literally, I believe. That's the that's the, I think the big difference. So we're going here. This is a, just Italian salsiccia. The cheese I we talked about before. Unfair comparison. We I think we have two great pizzas. Um, this is more Napolitano, like like Napoli pizza. They this got, actually this is better than I've had it there before. I think it's even getting better. This is a little bit more. This is sourdough. Um, it's my favorite. Ever since uh, I've been starting making a sourdough and visiting my really good friends at the Salami Social Club. So hopefully we'll get, have a chance to visit them. Um, we beat the time working in the concept. Not proud of beating anybody on a delivery thing with pizza, but very proud of the pizza and an opportunity to have this pizza again. This is really good. So please try it if you're here. It's the after party. It was like really good. I mean, always like, how could you not like want to eat pizza? But this one, you, I, it's really hard to stop eating it. And it's, it's homemade. It's from your oven. It's on your own pizza stone, pizza stone, whatever. It's really crispy. It's really greasy. I mean, you hear it. It's like, and it's like from a sourdough starter. So, oh, wow. Really, really freaking good. Start the adventure, please. This is just too good. Bye.